I have all the puppies. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm trying to form a thought. Well, there's puppies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So our records since Take This to Your Grave have gone color palette blue and then red and then blue and then red. Uh, and I think that when you first played Young and Menace for me, it just felt like it was maybe that song felt especially purple to me. It felt like a left turn kind of. Yeah, no one's ever brought me a puppy yet. Don't. Please. Oh, he got the goal! <laughs> <laughs> he got the questions, he wants to answer some. I think it would be great. It's just really agreeing on the songs or creating cool original songs. We have one Christmas-ish type song, holiday-ish type song, but it was recorded a long time ago. This is a very focused interview. Uh, I have never talked to Bruno about it. I think he explained the picture and the explanation like kind of oh. takes a little bit of the magic out of it possibly. Yeah. He's like just like he was surprised to see a, 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 a photographer bumped him or something. Yeah. Um, Here, go down it's like a slide. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> he did! <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the new sound. I don't know that there is a new sound, you know, it's just every song is going to be a different thing. And, and that's I don't think the, the record is not going to sound like Young and Menace. No, and, yeah. but I mean, that's the thing is it's not a style. You know, like that's, I don't think we've, for a long time, I don't think we've been very easy to, uh, you know, if we wrote a song that sounded too specifically like a style, you know, we, we don't really use it. So, um, yeah, baby, tell me everything. Oh, tell me all about Tell me about the songs. <laughs> <laughs> um, whisper sweet nothings in my ear. I, I don't know. I think I answered it. I got lost in puppy. I think that it like when something is like um, disruptive and interesting and and counterintuitive, it's interesting. But then when it becomes the thing that's expected, yeah, it's like it's harder to. It's what it, like I don't know. It's harder I didn't want to it to be a gimmick. You yeah. know, it was the thing that we did naturally, and then when it started to be the thing that people commented on all the time, it's like, What's well, that, we gotta buddy? not do that anymore. Oh, belly rubs. Very cute. Belly rubs! Hi. We get so many One Tree Hill questions. It's, it's really funny because like, because that was like maybe, well you did it for a minute, but, but in general it was a very, you know, it was like maybe a few days out of our entire life, you know? So like, it's funny how, how often I get asked about that. I'm right. like, I, I mean it was awesome, it was really fun, but. I've answered this one before, I think. But um, I mean, but not with puppies. That's true. But now there's like I would pressure. do it if we can attach the right director. <laughs> you know, we're if in we talks, can get this project moving. You know, Ridley right. Scott's all, all tied up with the aliens <laughs> franchise, alien stuff. You know, it, originally it was looking good, but I mean, I'm gonna be like really, really I'm gonna be gravely honest. Not in front of the puppies, Pete. <laughs> it, it's, it's interesting to try and be, like when you've been a band for like, we've been a band for like over 15 years, and in some places we've played the city 20 plus times, yeah. and you're playing in an arena where there's like some hardcore fans, and there's like hardcore fans from, from 10 years ago, and you know, like, and so it's like quite a task to try and do put a set list together that's gonna please everybody. But at the same time, I think that the thing that we've all said that we wanted to do more uh, and be better about is like kind of rotating songs a little bit. Good answer. High five. <laughs> I thought about a shake, look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> do it again, buddy, you can do it. Probably not, it was expensive. And this is one of those things that's super funny that no one knew about is we had wire work in that video. All of it got cut, but it cost like a house. It was so crazy. I can't believe Whoa. we wasted money on it. And like, and it didn't even work. It looked really stupid. It, it's one of those things. My, my wire work made it. Well, I'd be like, <gasps> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you were. There are some things that like, 
it's more funny to, or more interesting again to probably like think about what it would be like. But if we actually did that video, people would probably, it's like, it would not be great, probably. <laughs> yeah, the sequel video to that, I, I don't know that that would work so hot. Plan for uh, President Obama's inaugural ball was pretty cool. That's that crazy. Pretty awesome. That was that was a thing that like you know, he'll tell grandkids about that. That's it's pretty wild. Yeah. I thought you were for a second were saying like Obama will tell his grandkids about. You it. know, you'll never, never believe. Remember that one time <laughs> when they were great. <laughs> so the first record, Take This Your Grave, was really fun and really awesome. I'm really proud of it, but. That was us, like, we were still learning how to be a band and we weren't really very ambitious about it. I mean, like, I think, all, you know, all of us were like, yeah, we'll do this for, this will be a really awesome thing to do while we're on, you know, a semester off from, from school. And then, um, and then Dance Dance was the first song to me where we kind of were our own band. We weren't really trying to be anybody else. We were kind of, I, you know, when people ask me, every record, every song we put out, there's always the, you know, what's with the new sound? You know, and that's been for like, you know, 12 years of, of, of follow-up records yeah. that people have been asking that, and I think the start of that is Dance Dance. I would love to break down the thing of like, of like, bands being special, right? Like, that was a thing that we, that's where we came from, you know, when we were playing in, in hardcore bands and like in these, in these like, you know, dumpy dive bars and things like that. Like, there really wasn't any separation between audience and band, except for that the band had guitars and whatever. And then something happened where, like, it became this thing of, like, you sign autographs and you take pictures and stuff, which is awesome, and I'm happy to do that, but it was, it, it was a weird thing. It's always been a weird thing to me that, that that's a thing that separates you. You're not, you're not part of the audience anymore. I don't like that. I miss that. I think the early 2000s were one big fashion regret for me. <laughs> it's one thing to like have, like everyone does crazy fashion stuff, but to do it on like the cover of Rolling Stone is yeah. like the wild part. It's really it's hard to focus when there's like baby animals around. I feel like we kind of answered a couple questions, but like didn't really answer them. Yeah. These guys are all adoptable, and you can adopt them at North Shore Animal League America. And you own all these dogs now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Hope that hotel's puppy friendly.